what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric guys you get me for a whole hour today because we have a best of two esports war going on today it's the clash international cup where the queen walkers has recently taken down fusion in the quarterfinals and they've moved up the line and they're taking on vitang today and the winner of this match is going to take on the world championship team alternate attacks and we'll show that in a different video but guys let's focus in here because the Queen Walkers and Vitang have some really, really cool tactics where they're taking advantage of the new invisibility spell. Now, watch this clip, and this is going to give you an idea of the skill that you're going to see today. He used uh, Lightning onto each of these Infernos, one on each, and then he hit the Quake to hit both of them. Then he uses the invisibility spell to make so that the shield doesn't go to the air defense, and it goes all the way in and takes out both. All right, guys, that is just a small sampling of what is to come in this video. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to help support the channel, use code Eric. This is the best of two. That means as we move through the first war, the score and the stars of that war will be added to the score and the stars of the next war. And the combined total will determine which team ultimately takes the win and moves on to fight alternate attacks in the grand finals. So guys, let's go dive into the first attack. We are live. Junghoon versus Yuda14 to kick it off today. He's got three invisibility spells and a blimp. So I think we're going to see a blizzard attack right out of the gate here. What's he aiming for though? What's the target? Is it the town hall maybe? No, he's going for the scatter shot up top. And he's going to try to land it next to the king, but he's going to make the king invisible so we can get those uh, wizards while invisible to nuke everything in the area there. One of them leaks out. A little bit more time to work. I'm going to get the scatter down. Can they get this queen down? Oh, they, are, they hit shift target to the king. Um, My sound isn't working here. i got to fix that one. I'll have to fix uh, the game sound in a second here, but looks like he uh, drew the CC troops up to the dragons and he's going to try to fight that ice hound in safety. And this doesn't seem to be too much of a problem there, but one of the dragons leaked off there and got uh, killed by the single. So we have to deal with that. One dragon down. King and the queen are going to step in here and further funnel the heroes by taking out this inferno and... I'm going to take some heavy fire from the uh, point defenses in the area, but we'll see if he can uh, hold it together here, get around the corner and clear everything down there because he wants to get all the way around to the other air defense, preferably. If he get all the way there with his queen, which it looks like he should, he has uh, Tesla's popping in the middle. The dragons are going to start to work their, their way that direction and get over into the scatter shot. That's good because he needs the pathing into the scatter shot and that's going to create it. But the balloons not tanking for the single inferno unfortunately looks like a dragon is locked on too he freezes up the scatter because the teslas are beating the dragons down and they're pretty hard but he does have the royal champion coming in the royal champion's gonna sweep in take out the eagle artillery in a second but the dragons need to engage the queen before his uh, royal champion becomes in danger there's the rage freezes up and that is also protecting the royal champion he needs to get to the single Still has a Royal Champion ability. Still has a Queen ability. There's the ability right there. Takes the single down. And he's one defense away from going for the triple here. Just needs to get that Archer Tower down. And the Dragons can clean it up. He's got 42 seconds, guys. There is a balloon on the top side. It's going to go in there and tank the Archer Tower for a second. And let the Dragon sweep through. This is Crush. Jung Hoon coming in with a Wizard Blizzard Dragon attack. To kick it off here for Vatang. Gaku is live. Here we go. And we have sound. There we go. We fixed it. All right. Gaku coming in with a Wizard Blizzard Dragon attack as well. If it's good enough for Vatang, it's good enough for Queen Walkers. Let's see if we can get done here. He's going to get the chains through the town hall to get the Inferno. Works out really nice. The uh, wizards are also going to kill a lot of the CC troops there, taking out uh, most of it, leaving two super minions and one headhunter. A headhunter immediately locks onto the warden, doesn't really get any strikes off though. And the uh, super minions will 
be dealt with very easily with the heroes or with the uh with the dragons here as they start to sweep in but he's uh kind of going for a wide approach to the base the heroes need to work fast and thin out this pathing path and look at that the king does ultimately step in and he's gonna do exactly that keep these dragons together as a pack so all the spells hit them as they move through the base the king pops his ability and he'll work his way into the single inferno but he does go down the queen will grab out the single freezes it up just to make sure he doesn't lose a dragon in the process and then the queen will grab an air defense she's going to continue moving on he frees up the uh scatter with the uh raw champion the Tessa farm pops down to the bottom dragons are splitting pretty hard here but if you can get this arch town down or down then he's safe in that corner he uses an invisibility spell on the dragons over on the left side. That's the only one he had. He's uh, just going to get the scatter down. He's got a lot of dragons, guys. This is looking good. Pops his row champion ability. All defenses down with that Tesla. And there we go. Just uh, pop that. Uh, I, I said all defenses down, but there's still one left. But he's got it under control here. Gaku coming in here with a wizard blizzard dragon attack. And that is two triples with that attack already. That's pretty nuts. Kiberos. Coming in with a... Oh, I love this. I love this. Using an earthquake. Two lightning. Three lightning. He just softened it all up there for the... Uh, Royal Champion to go grab it all. But now he's going in with a big Tessa farm right on the drop. And he needs to keep this uh, this log launcher protected. But the king is doing most of the tanking here. Looks like it did potentially take some damage there. It just made, does it still get the walls open? His king is going the wrong direction. But he's going to clear up all the trash over there and push the queen to follow into the town hall area. But ice golems don't allow her to... Or don't allow the log launcher to open up all the walls. Or the... the the Tessa farm, I mean, didn't. So the Tessa farm stopped this attack. It's, it's probable. But he's going to use invisibility spells to protect her. He did get the queen down. So that's a that's a big thing right there. But now the hound is on its way over to his queen. And he's in a little bit of a trouble here. He's got the town hall activated, luckily. So he can at least target it with the balloons. I don't think the queen's going to be able to get it through it, though. He's not going to have enough. He's got a lot of freezes and he'd have to use all of them to protect her at this point. He's just going to have to let her drop. Or is it a barbarian up top? He's going to lure up the pups into that corner and try to group them up into the poison. Okay, now what? He's got uh, balloons. Okay, go right to the town hall. I don't know that he can triple anymore if he has to go through the town hall like this. I think he wanted to come in on the back side of the town hall. Or me, on the bottom side of the base, I mean, and go through these air defenses behind the sweepers and start on the eagle. But we'll see what happens. It's not... It's not necessarily over. But it's not ideal either. Everything's getting frozen up there. He's got three more freezes to work with. But this uh, pack by the warden takes the eagle strike and it all goes down. He's trying to protect the other ones from splash damage. It's a sweeper. Can he get inside the middle range of the eagle? He does! Look at that! He gets inside the middle range of the eagle. That's going to give him a chance. But I think it's still too much. He's not going to be able to get the air defense down. It's going to keep on picking up balloons. And it's going to be our first defense of the war, guys. He hit that Tessa farm right out of the gate there. As soon as he started the attack. And then the king went the wrong direction and he kind of it kind of actually worked out that the king went that way because he went and got the queen but the log launcher taking all that extra damage at the start of the attack from the tessa farm made so that it didn't get enough logs to actually open any walls you have to keep it extremely protected here and he was unable to do that with that uh, surprise right off his uh opener so we'll see if they can uh make a comeback after that but right now Walkers is going to take the lead. Stadra is live. Here we go. Stadra coming in with a queen walk into no warden walk into a uh, Pekka Yeti bowler smash. He's got two Pekkas, two Yetis, seven bowlers, and he has four invisibility spells to cap it off. 
All right, he's using uh, sneaky goblins to go and clear these miscellaneous uh, collectors out in the uh, bottom corner. Get ready for a funnel. And the warden, the warden needs to step in there and grab out the the multi inferno. That's his job right here. But he needs the raw champion to not interfere. Well, ground skellies pop in there. Ready to keep working his way, and he sends in a Valkyrie to help deal with the ground skellies. I like that. Valkyrie hits a. Valkyrie hits a spring trap, which is actually really good because the Valkyrie could have potentially pulled the attention of the Royal Champion, but he'll make the he make the Warden invisible to get the Expos off of him and to get the healer transfer. Is that gonna work? That's a unique idea that I never really thought about, but yeah, if he uses the invisibility spells to transfer all the defenses off of the warden, then that guarantees the healer transfer, which is usually the death of this attack, but he's looking good. Push it into the middle of base here. Rage and the jump and another rage in the core. Town hall drops. And the ward ability He's fine. He's going to be able to work his way into the scatter shots and he's going to actually be able to take out the eagle from that compartment as well. Everything is almost reachable at this point, but he's... Just got to get to this, uh, like, he's got good pathing, I think, to get to this, uh, top Inferno. We'll see what happens, but, uh, it looks like the left side stuff, or the right side stuff, I mean, is a little bit of a problem. He does have a hole in the walls that does let the Valkyries that came out of his Siege Barracks in. This Rogue Champion is still circling around, but she has invisibility spells, guys. He freezes it. Didn't use invisibility yet. Still has three invisibility. Let's just keep on moving here. Use this, uh, protect his royal champion. He's already used her ability, so preserve her health wherever possible. Ooh, messed up uh, that invisibility a little bit. Walks on by. Just uh, keep on letting her march. You can actually have the, uh, the warden picks up that, uh, Oh, look at that. Look at that. He sends, he uses the invisibility to get her to skip over the Tesla. She goes straight to the scatter shot, and that's exactly what he needed. Stadra has done it. He's got the three star in the bag there. The scatter shot is neutralized, and he's got, he's on, he's on his way, guys. He's on his way. It is home free from here. Once that scatter shot dropped, that's what we were worried about. He wasn't going to be able to reach it. He potentially would have time failed if he didn't get it. But he makes the Teslas invisible and forces the Royal Champion in to go take it out. Boom. That is another triple here. That's two for two for the Queen Walkers. Nice job. Jong Hoon. In for seven lightning. So he's probably going after the Queen and going after an Inferno, I would say. And then he can do a Sui Hero to go grab the Scatters with the Golem. What are you doing here? What are you waiting for? Is he going to the Scatter or is he going to the Single? What's happening? He's wasting time. 10 seconds in and he hasn't dropped anything. There it is, finally. Okay. <laughs> he zaps out an Inferno. I don't know why he was waiting, but he lost 10 seconds of his attack there. Hope that doesn't cost him in the end, but we'll see. Yijisu Hero Lalo is a relatively fast attack, so... It's like a Yeti takes out a Archer Tower up in the upper right. The Road Champion is going to take out the enemy Road Champion with the help of a Headhunter down in the left side. The King and the Queen... Trying to work their way into the Eagle Artillery. Queen does ultimately step in, and the Royal Champion did pull the CC. He's got a low health uh, Wizard Tower over on the bottom left area. But the Royal Champion didn't quite finish off, but he has a... He threw an Archer behind the Royal Champion to delay the Hound so the Queen can continue on. And if she can pop her ability and take out that enemy Queen, then that's going to be some huge value. But he'll grab the Expo before he engages the Hound. And he's actually under almost no fire. He, oh, wait. Just kidding. He's got the scatter shot on him. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. He's going to pop the Hound. And then the Queen goes down. All right. Now he has all the pups to deal with. And he... Ooh, ooh, he doesn't have a poison for it. 
Can we get this? He doesn't. Oh, no. The balloons that were going for the scatter, they don't path towards it, guys. The scatter stays standing. The dragon deals with the pups, but he sends in a couple balloons to go grab out the scatter. He's going to take a lot of heavy fire here. He doesn't have any more freezes to deal with the other scatter shot. The queen, I think, was maybe supposed to get that scatter shot. I don't know. But he has a haste. The dragon is tanking. He better pop that haste now and get into it before he loses the tanking. Here it is. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. How's the traps going off? There's the tornado. Hit it, hit it, hit it. They're inside the minimum range. One more wizard tower. One more wizard tower. Oh my god, I think he's gonna get it. <laughs> yes! He's got it! Jung Hoon with the triple! Oh my god. What a beast. What a beast. That's another triple here for Vitang, keeping their team alive here. All right. One fail of the war so far. All right. Stars is live. Here we go. Stars from the Queen Walkers. Coming in with four invisibility into a Pekka Bowler Witch Smash. He's got three rages. And he's got that blimp. He's going to use the blimp to actually land on top of this expo. If he can hit that expo and go invisible, then the strikes against the town hall will actually take out all of these buildings over here. Watch this. Boom. Boom. And can he get the inferno too? Boom. Come on. Boom. Can he get the whole CC? Oh, come on. Get the entire CC. Get one more shot. Yes, he gets this. He gets the headhunters, but one more trickles out afterwards, and the queen is only going to have to fight one, but look how much of the base is gone. Game Bros, I feel like it's already over. I feel like it's already over, guys. Now he has a perfect L-shaped base. One entire quadrant of the base is gone with the investment of six spells and his blimp. Now he goes for a super wall breaker, but the wall breaker is really dumb there. I don't know what it was doing, but he will be able to get the walls open or the walls are already open. So he will be able to just walk in. That works out nice. He's going to have uh, his P.E.K.K.A.s are ultimately going to walk on him. That's not good. His king's going to pop his ability to try to force some stuff back in. He does a little bit. He jumps to try to get things back on track. But the king and the witches are doing a good job on the outside, or at least the skeletons from the witches. The witches themselves are coming in. He sends in a headhunter to help with the uh, enemy king. Rages up the middle, poisons up the queen because he didn't need the poison anywhere else. He already killed the CC with the wizard blizzard. And here we go into the scatter shots. And this is home free for the finish. Let's see if he can close it out here. He still has a royal champion. The royal champion comes in the top corner. Gonna go reinforce that king. The king started to out, but is this gonna protect the wizards up there? And the queen will grab out that scatter shot. He just needs to work his way into the final inferno. And he is all set. He sends in his uh, remaining balloons. His uh, miss or his uh, I love the use of a couple miscellaneous balloons there to just uh, wait and find out what they can be useful for. And he does make use of them right there, dropping them into the Tesla farm, protecting the royal champion, giving her a chance to get through there. The queen. Is uh, ultimately... Wait, is she going to go down over there? Oh, look at this. The Royal Champion sweeps in there. Gets the single Inferno down. And it is a triple here for Stars. Getting huge value out of his Wizard Blizzard. Boom. Let's see if Diff can get it done here. Diff coming in with a Zap Quake Lalo. Zapping out the Queen. Get a little bit of damage on the Scatter there. He'll use the excess damage to finish off the queen and take out the sweeper and the multi-inferno as well. You can see that he's setting up for a raw champion to go in there and grab out that uh, scatter. He already used two lightning on the on the scatter shot, so the raw champion ability with the quake is going to be enough to take it down. 
Maybe sends in the uh, Yeti down to the bottom corner. The Yeti will grab out the cannon. He'll work his way in. He's got the super wall break to give him access in. He's going to be taking some damage from the multi inferno, but that's not going to slow down just the heroes here. He sends the world champion over on the other side. She can uh, go ahead and pop her ability. She takes out air defense. Archer Tower finishes off the scatter shot and moves her way on over to the multi inferno. And she's going to join up with the other heroes here. That is a king out in front tanking. But he's going to go down. He still has a queen ability. The queen can actually pop her ability and potentially get through this enemy. This enemy uh, row champion. And we'll see what she can do. I don't think she's going to get her. He's going to follow up a short. He frees up the expo, but that was a, kind of a waste. Okay. He sends in the uh, blimp. Or the slammer. I mean, the, the slammer. Very well might be carrying a dragon to go take out that uh, Royal Champion. That's probably the backup plan there. He's got a mix of regular Lava Hounds and Ice Hounds here. The Ice Hound is starting. There's no... There's no air defenses, or there's nothing in there that's going to threaten that uh, Ice Hound. But look at the line of traps that are being pulled by the Hounds! Holy cow, that was a lot of traps that's going to pop the hound there, but it's protected by the visibility or the, the freeze, I mean, from the ice hound. It will provide a little bit of cover here as the uh, balloons make their approach, but this town hall is going to strike the balloons. He's got more than enough to spare, though. He's going to work his way. If he gets that air defense down, it's over. I think it's over even if he misses it. There's the warden. He starts it off and it's a three star again. Diff coming in here with a big Sui hero value. And he's uh, able to use that lightning to soften up the structures in the area. Get his road champion into the correct position. Freezes up the CC with his swag. And that is a three star here for Vitang. Still playing from behind. But feeling good. Feeling good here with three triples on the board. OP War. Klaus is live. Here we go. Coming in with three lightning, three haste, two invisibility, and a quake. Going for kill squad Lalo. He's got a wall wrecker. Not using a log launcher in this one. He's opting to use that wall wrecker, which means he's probably going at the town hall directly. Or he's going to clear the way around the town hall with other troops. And then... I don't know. We'll see. This we'll see. So, coming in with the king. And a balloon up in the top corner. Icicle mount front. Is he trying to go in and grab out the... Royal Champion? Says in the wall wrecker. King is providing... Nope, the uh, Ice Golem is uh, tanking the Raw Champion. It's going to pop and protect. He's got the uh, Raw Champion going to come in here. And the Queen is going for a walk here. That's not good. Can he get the value in the middle of the base here with the King? He uses the Lightning and the Earthquake in the middle of the base to take out a couple uh, structures there. I mean, the Sweeper. The King is getting hammered on over there as he fights off the CC by himself, but he has Yetis inside of that uh, wall record that are protecting him. The Queen, ultimately going the wrong way, ends up picking up the Eagle where the Royal Champion fell short. I don't- you can't make that up. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. But it worked out beautifully here. And the queen is not going to have to worry about fighting the hound. She's going to die before the hound goes down. I don't know if that was intentional. But it, feel, it sure feels like it was. Holy cow. That is a killer start here for Klaus. Now he's going to reach the town hall right as it activates. The hound is going to draw a lot of the traps out and up in front. Took out tons of black mines. Didn't find any... Uh, any red mines in the area, which means he's safe and he's uh, due for a, a just a perfect landing here as the balloons work their way through. He's got the headhunters that are protected by the ward ability. That's going to draw the hound back, unfortunately, but he does take the enemy queen down. Even threw it as poison right there. Like, he didn't use it on the other stuff. It doesn't matter, guys. This, this is absolutely crushed. <laughs> Jeez. Like... I don't know how they do it. They just, uh, they make, the way that they break down every single base just makes it look so effortless. Like, you see it happening before your eyes and you're like, uh, like, you're like, duh, that's, that's obviously the way to beat this base. But then you, 
<laughs> and you you try to come up with this stuff on your own and you, it's uh, it feels like it's impossible most of the time these guys are so good the way that they can identify these bases and just uh find us just find something to get through them is just insane but here we go klaus with some swag freeze closes that one out and it's another triple for the queen walkers that my friends is four out of four let me fast forward back to the spot there and watch the shield because I think he hit... Did he hit the multi inferno with the shield? Why didn't it go down? Maybe he missed it with the lightning or something? Hey, watch it right here. Let's play it in uh, half speed when it gets there. We can see exactly what he did. Because this was... This was... There was so much beyond what we were initially watching there that we didn't even... We didn't even... Uh, we didn't realize. So there's the invisibility spell. There's the shield. One, two, three, four. Okay. So then he throws in the earthquake. And then the lightning. He must have he must have missed the inferno with the uh, with the lightning. But either way, that is insane. If you would have hit the inferno with lightning, that would have been a scatter. The sweeper that's uh, pointing the area where the Lalo's coming in. Wait, it would be a scatter, two infernos. And the sweeper that's pointing at the Lalo that'd be coming in. Missed one of the zaps? Yeah. He has one more zap. Oh, he finished it. He threw in the extra lightning at the end and got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? These are... That's just insanity. Now, they're both going to go simultaneously for this final attack, but we'll jump into Yuta. We'll see if they can come up with the perfect war here. But remember, this is a best of two. So after this round, we're going right back in to another one. And the score from this one will add to the score of that one. So even if Queen Walkers gets the perfect war, if a tank can also triple, they'll stay within one star. They're still within 20% here on a double perfect. So we'll see. Using a Yeti blimp to kick it off here. Taking out that single. No spells invested. Got some good value out of it. Okay. And he got that uh, funnel nicely formed. Now we can... Uh, he's super wall broken to the eagle already. Arch is already pinging away over in the corner. Trying to clear out the trash over there. King comes down. Is the king going to go in? I think the uh, king is going to go in. Look at that. Does the queen actually turn back though? She does, and then the king pops his ability, and he's going to clear the Tessa farm on the outside, but the enemy road champion is tying him up for a second. The queen is going to make quick work of her, and he doesn't actually end up going to the road champion. Not sure why he didn't lock onto her, but she did step away for a second, so I guess it kind of makes sense. The queen turns back. She's going to go all the way in, and she has more super wall breaks. Here they come. They're going to go all the way into the scatters, the multi, the CC, and into the sweepers. They can go all the way across the base. So there's an enormous amount of value right here. The road champion working on the other side. She's going to pop her ability. She takes down a handful of defenses over there. There's not a lot of base left at this point after the scatter shots and the multi go down. He seems to maintain control of his queen walk. His air defense won't cause any problems to his healers, so that's good. He's got balloons coming in. He's going to use invisibility on them so that they can't get targeted. And now they're going to sweep along the flank there and keep the uh, queen protected. He drops an invisibility spell on the queen. That protects her just long enough, but it does switch the scatter shot over to his healers. And that's going to cause some big damage to them, but one of them dies. He got everything he needed, though. He doesn't need anything else out of the queen. He got both of the scatters. He makes her invisible, but that is a little bit too little, or too little too late. He's got one freeze, one haste. He just got to make this approach to the town hall. He's got the haste ready. Pop it now. Freeze it, freeze it. Okay, there's the haste. Shoot him into the air defense. Wait, he's going to need two strikes. Got it down, and there we go. Shoots into the air defense. Now he just needs to get this expo down, but he needs a split. He needs a split on the balloons here. Does he get the split? He gets. He goes to the wizard tower, but they're all going to the expo first. I think they're. Oh no, they're gonna have enough either way. He's got it. He's got it, guys. Yuda fourteen. 
coming in here and getting the perfect war after a killer queen charge to finish it up that was op and it looks like we do have a defense on the other side here as a warning came in at 83 percent i wonder what happened with this one here he says another super wall break did the queen not follow it though where'd she go oh she veered down right there and she attacked the wall all right i see what we're wrong with this tried to push the queen towards the eagle and she did not want to cooperate had to burn a bunch of spells there to get his way through that single and then she still hangs out inside of it jeez let's go do a legend link attack here we go all right we got a we'll do a log launcher attack on this one because we don't have an island off a uh, town hall and i guess oh we could do like I want to do a wizard blizzard attack and just drop into the eagle, because everything is so compact in there. But I think we'll just like keep it simple here. No, whoa, jeez, oh, I don't have access to the base is the problem. But there's no sweepers point. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a wizard blizzard. <laughs> Screw it. We're just gonna we'll figure out how to get into the base here afterwards. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, they didn't get to scatter? Come on. All right. Let's go over here. Let's go with a, uh, go to king. Go queen. Warden. To, uh, get out up here. The wizard. Let's throw in the rest of the things over here. We'll see if we can get them attack the wall and push in. Up and king. This is down. Okay, we're gonna have some troops leak, but that's alright. Okay, how are we looking? Let's get in a raw champion relatively soon. Let's make this center group invisible, maybe, while we're attacking the walls. Okay, looking good. Let's um, get ready for the... Uh, let's do a baby dragon up here. In here. Get a freeze onto the scatter. And we'll send in the raw champion to go help out, get that single down. Let's get in a couple uh, minions down in the uh, area at the end. We're going to be uh, finishing. Let's go with a headhunter for cleanup, I guess, at this point. Let's throw in a wizard over here to try to collapse things in. Before for RC ability now to get this arch tower down in the expo. And it's a triple. <laughs> I guess I don't, I guess I don't need wall breakers. I don't need anything. I just, uh, I just go into the base here with uh, super wizards and a uh, super lizard. <laughs> just funnel just funnel i guess you, you don't even oh jeez it's uh it's it's theory crafting time guys that's what that's uh that's what update season's all about all right guys here we go the first attack of the second war of the cic semifinals best of two with a perfect war in the first round queen walkers is currently up at 15 stars compared to vitang's 13 stars, so Vatang is going to need a miracle to come back against the Queen Walkers at this point in this best of two, but definitely not out of the realm of possibilities. Vatang has uh, definitely been known to be able to pull up a perfect war themselves, but he's got a Stadra kicking off here. He's got two invisibility spells. He's using a Ward of Walk, and he's finding a Tesla farm right out of the bat. He's going to be able to grab all these Teslas and outrange them all with his uh, Ward, which is really nice. Is it a super wall breaker? It's gonna open up the air defense, and you can go for another super wall break here. Look at that! Uh, that uh, the goblin pulled a spring trap right there, which is gonna potentially save a 
a super wall breaker from going in afterwards, but he doesn't have any more super wall breakers, so scratch that. He says to the king, the king's gonna go on the outside. He already formed the funnel for the king, so the king has nowhere to go but stay on the outside path and circle around. He's gonna go right up the alleyway, freezing up the inferno, and he'll be able to make his approach to the town hall, but he needs to get this builder hut down, potentially. If that is gonna draw anything off, I think he'll be all right, though. I think everything's gonna go right up the channel here. There it is, he gets the bullet bounces, gets it down. That's gonna make sure that he doesn't have anything path weird, and he'll shoot it all his way into the scatter shot, but he has the other scatter shot on the other side beating down on him. He's got the multi-inferno. Finally being engaged right there, but it does cause some decent damage there before it drops. The healers are not transferring forward. So the main group up ahead just got wrecked. The healer stayed on the queen the entire time. Now this has turned into a queen charge. And uh, she doesn't have a lot of support here. She has to go to ability. She has a freeze. She has an invisibility spell. Is this it? Is this the attack right out of the gate here that's going to give Vitang a chance to come back? I don't think this has a chance to going through, but he still has a he still has a world champion ability. If you get this eagle down, he potentially can make it through. Can't really take any more eagle strikes. Look, the world champion gets inside of the minimum range of the eagle. It's gonna dodge it. That was really good. Now he's gonna get to his enemy world champion. He freezes her up with the scatter. Come on. Does he still get this? No freaking way. <laughs> that balloon comes down for the Tesla and the mortar on the backside, and he's done it. You can't stop him. You can't stop him. You don't give him the heal transfer. You take out his whole army before he even starts to attack, and he still triples anyways. What is happening? <laughs> Queen Walkers is insane. The patience with those last couple resources was perfect. He got exactly what he needed to do. Like they're like, I imagine right there, he had to pause it. He had to call up Doctor Strange, and Doctor Strange had to run all the different possible universes for finding a method that that attack was going to succeed. And there was only one, and he found it. <laughs> you know. All right, let's go, Kibros. Up next, he's going with uh, witches and super witches. He's got the log launcher, four invisibility spells, and three earthquakes. Okay. What do you use three earthquakes for? And no lightning. I guess you... You three earthquake onto the infernos. Yes, that's what you do. Then you send in the road champion. You pop her shield and you take out all the infernos. Wow. Okay, that's what you do. <laughs> you use the invisibility spell to control the royal champion's shield and she ends up taking out all the infernos in that area. Three earthquakes and RC ability, huge value right there. The yetis are gonna continue marching forward here. He still has a golem yet to deploy it. I don't know what he's gonna use it for, but he's uh, protecting his queen right now with an invisibility spell. And uh, again, as he fights off the enemy royal champion, Making sure that he does... Oh, there's another one. He, that, uh... That super minion is inside the invisibility, so I'll get him protected by it. It's taking out witches back there. Come on, queen, take it out. There we go. She turns on the town hall, or turns off the town hall, and takes it out. Pops her ability, and she will escape to safety for now. I don't think he's going to make it through, though. He's out of troops. Yeah. There's... Oh, nice jump. I like the jump. Really good jump placement. Nice try, Kibros. <laughs> Gaku is live. Here we go. So, starting off with an invisibility spell. With the wizards. Gonna try to bomb out this uh, town hall. And he gets the expo behind it. And he gets the CC. And the Inferno. Does he get the Tesla too? Not quite. The scatter one-shots those super uh, wizards, so you got to be really careful with that. All right. But he got a big section of the base taken out there. And Inferno and the Town Hall is a pretty fantastic value here for a couple spells. And a blimp. So he pops the Hound up at the top corner, and the Hound was already weakened up there by the wizards. Like, it kills the CC. It takes the Town Hall. 
and it takes out everything next to it as well. It's pretty insane what kind of value you can get with those wizards. And they don't even have to reach the town hall. They just got to get to the... They ideally get to the compartment next to it that they can reach the town hall from. You know what I mean? They don't actually need to get to the town hall. So if they fall short... Like, they have to fall much more short than you do for, like, a Yeti blimp or a, a Sneaky Goblin snipe at the town hall. But now he's going to work his way through with the dragons. He can, uh... Get that eagle artillery down early and he can uh, get his heroes to maybe get to this air defense before the dragons arrive to it there's the ward ability he gets into the highest damage area of the base ward ability once again taking more advantage of uh, not having to fight the town hall he is uh, able to use his ward ability during this area of the base there rather than the uh town hall and he is just smashing through this base guys the royal champion comes in the queen is still alive at full health Still has her ability. He still has a freeze. The RC is getting tons of protection here. She's taking a little bit of damage from that cannon, but she's hanging in there. There's the ability. Takes out the air defense. And this is crushed. Wizard. Blizzard. Dragons. Definitely going to be... One of the most simple and most powerful ways to use the new wizard drop here. Like, if you haven't thought about using this strategy, you should, uh, you should consider it because it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. <laughs> it just wrecks some bases. So, there we go. Gaku with a triple. We'll pop him some confetti there. We haven't been popping the confetti all day, so we'll make sure we pop it right there. And show him some love here because they are now seven out of seven so far in the series. And if they can continue what they're doing through three more attacks, they're currently up three stars. So as long as uh, they don't fail their next three attacks, one more triple effectively locks in the win here for the Queen Walkers. Assuming the Vitang triples out. We'll see. Warning is live. Here we go. Coming in with a... Queenwalk Hog? Queenwalk Hog attack. He's going to start off with a blimp. The blimp's going to go in here and grab out the scatter shot and maybe get the bomb tower in the air defense too. He gets a sweeper. He gets the bomb tower. Okay. Good. Oh, but he gets air defense. Okay. He got everything. All right. So now with that CC pull. They can uh, draw it over to this queen. The queen can walk her way towards the town hall. You can see where he already funneled up around the town hall area. He's got that wizard working in the top corner. Just sitting out there. Just thinking ahead. Thinking ahead. Thinking of the things that could potentially draw this queen off and potentially cause problems later in the attack. He quakes out by the town hall. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Did you? Oh my gosh! Did, did you guys see what just happened? He pops the invisibility spell to control the pathing of this shield, and he takes out all the infernos. What? Oh my gosh! These guys. Are they have a keen eye for what they can get with this royal champion shield when combined with invisibility spell and they are just doing some incredible things here. The queen will grab the town hall. He'll grab the scatter shot, work his way into the bomb tower, but guys, there's not a lot left in the base here. If he gets to Tessa, he's got the three star. He gets to Tessa. The queen still has her ability. She can reach everything. The warden. Unfortunately, he's following the king, but she's going to go over here and help out outside of the range of all the defenses. It's a triple all day long. The hogs did not need to get a lot. The royal champion and the queen took out the majority of the base there with that uh, small yeti blimp there with the rage on it. And this is absolutely crushed. Nice attack here from warning. Let's watch that. Uh, let's watch that royal champion shield back because that that was insane. All right. Watch this. We'll uh, fast forward past the Yeti Bomb.
Okay. Boy was right. Okay, so right here. He used uh, lightning onto each of these infernos, one on each, and then he hit the quake to hit both of them. Then he uses the invisibility spell to make so that the shield doesn't go to the air defense and it goes all the way in and takes out both. All right, guys, stars is live from the queen walkers coming in with a wizard blizzard attack here, but out of a stone slammer, potentially Slammer is going to go in here and go two layers deep into the bomb tower and dump out right here. There we go. Good. Rage is up. Visibility spell protecting him. One more. Let's get that town hall. Distracted here. Does he have another? Oh, he's going to lose him. Oh, he did not get the value on that one. Now he's got to reprocess his entire attack. He got the CC kill though. Hmm, I wonder Maybe you need to drop a little bit closer to the town hall. I guess he didn't really have a choice on where it dropped It had to go in where it's going, but he sends in that baby dragon to go grab the air defense that finishes it off Also, we have to count for the crash damage on the blimp softening up some of the buildings in the area Also contributing but uh, this whole summer did not get it done very far in there But we'll see if he can still get the triple here Raw champions are going to go in here and grab out this single Pops her ability. Okay. She got the air defense and everything's kind of breaking down side, but no, they're coming back because the king is up ahead funneling. Instead of pushing back in. If I swear if this still triples. If this still triples somehow. Then I, I quit Clash of Clans. <laughs> I don't know how to play anymore. Um, I think this is going to fail though. So his uh, king ends up grabbing the scatter shot here. It's not going to be able to make it through. The uh, queen will try to get a little bit more percentage here. But stars coming out here. And he tries to do a wizard blizzard out of a stone slammer instead of a blimp. Does not get as much value that he's hoping for. I think he's looking for a lot more out of that. Needed another invisibility spell or two to keep those uh, wizards going. But their rage wears off if you go to like more than about four anyways. So yeah. But this style base with the uh, with the, the teaser town halls is uh, this just forces people to uh, come in with the blimp opposite. And if you can just minimize the value of the wizards opposite of the town hall, then you can uh, stop this attack. You know. Jung Hoon coming in against Dadra. He's got a. Just a big long mashup of spells here, but no earthquakes with one lightning. So he's probably going to be trying to use that lightning to snipe off headhunters that come out of the CC. Coming in with a Sui Hero Lalo because the town hall is far from the town hall. Or the okay, using invisibility to protect the uh, Royal Champion so she can make her approach in here. But ground skellies are tying her up. Lots and lots of ground skellies are tying her up. Freezes up to protect her again. Pops her uh, shield. And how far can she get through here? That's a lot of investment. Does she miss it? Wow. Lots of traps right here. And she does not get the single inferno down. Jung Hoo doesn't have to make some big adjustments here. Ground skellies. Really, really mess up the raw champion. It's her biggest weakness. Because she fires so slow. But his queen will grab out the enemy queen and she'll grab the air defense too. Then he gets, he's sending a couple of balloons with the king. He's trying to get the king to go take the town hall. And with the traps triggered in the area, the balloons will be able to grab out the single. And they can help him with the cannon too while he fights off the uh, Sorges. And the king will be able to take the town hall. Okay. This is shaping up. This is shaping up. He's looking good. Nice adjustments. Still going to plan for the most part, even though the Royal Champion did not get the value, but he uh, was able to make the adjustments there with a couple of blues there to protect the king. Slammer's uh, taking the scatter shot. 
pop his king ability and get through that uh, area there. But here comes the CC pull. He's got archers that came out. And an ice hound. The ice hound's going to follow the king. And uh, ward ability to get him through the scatters. But look at these uh, couple of blues right here splitting off to the left side scatter. They get it down there and he uses the lightning to take down the CC. He pops a haste onto the dragon. I don't understand what that was for. But he's not going to make it through. He has the free spell. He didn't use it in the right spot. Maybe he could have pulled it off here. But that scatter shot not going down is me at the death of this attack. Nice try, young hoon. A little bit uh, chaotic there. As uh, everything was kind of skipping the scatters. They were they were going after like everything else. They all they all skipped the scatter shots. And he had to like <laughs> when you when you're just watching all your troops circle around the scatter shot but not take it. It's got to be uh, really frustrating there, you know. Klaus from the Queen Walkers is up next. He's coming in with a Sui Lalo. He's got four skeleton spells, four invisibility spells. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. This is amazing. Get the scatter sound. Get the scatter sound. <laughs> oh my gosh. Three invisibility spells used right there. <laughs> he gets CC pull on top of that. Wow. No, he did not get the CC pull because skeletons don't pull the CC. But like <laughs> he got the scatter shots. Oh my gosh. Klaus is so creative with every single attack that he does. Like. I bet if he uh, if he invested a few more. I bet if he invested a few more spells there. He could have got the CC down too. Because the CC was also protected where the skeletons would have uh, stood to attack it. He could have done. I mean, this is insane. It's insane. All right. Well, the king and the queen. Fight off the Ice Hound. They're going to get the Eagle Artillery down. They already got the Inferno. The Queen comes back. They're going to go grab another Inferno. He's got the Freeze. He can protect him if necessary. Does he though? Lalo's in for the other side. Blimp's going to snipe the Town Hall. Let's not lose track of this queen up here. She is not going to the single. She's going to stay on the outside. He breaks the outside and she's not coming back in. All right. So he gets the town hall down. He's going to get this uh, multi inferno in the middle. He's going to be fighting the sweeper while he fights it. So it's not going to be an easy push here through the core of the base. I mean, he's done a lot. But he still has a lot more to go here. Hitting mines as he tries to cross to the middle of the base there. And it is going to make so we can't get in this multi-inferno. The sweepers that would be knocking him back indefinitely. And he still has a lot of balloons. He might be able to overcome this. There we go. The warden takes out the sweeper. They're finally making their approach. He might still get it. 35 seconds. He's got cleanup. He tosses in more cleanup over the corner. That archer just peeing away. Over the Inferno. The Inferno is still at full health. The Warden is still alive, though. Helping out. All that extra firepower. He's losing cleanup now. Come on, Balloons. Get in position here. There we go. 10 seconds. Can you get this? Five. Four. Three. Two. One, it's a time fail. Wow. <laughs> After all that, it's a time fail. Let's go see the other side here where we have Diff coming in next. Diff coming in with a lightning to grab out. He got a sweeper and a scatter shot. Didn't get any damage on the queen though, but is going to clear a section of the base right there. Now the king is already funneled. 
There's a minion there just chipping away, funneling the king to go in. The queen's going to join. They can go in there and take out the enemy queen. They can reach the eagle artillery from there. And then the raw champion is going to take advantage of the tanking already in the area. And she will go in here and grab out the scatter shot. She'll probably actually get that expo on top of that. And she can... Pops her ability... What was I say? Wait a second until that uh, defense goes down and pop it. You get the Architar too, but... Now uh, Architar is going to be beating down on him. It's fine though. She'll probably still get that Architar. And then she'll die right there. Good value. Good value. Oh, a hand gets the Wizard Tower too. That says icing on the cake right there. Alright, so the Queen... Still with her ability... We'll pop her right here to try to get the wizard tower down. She'll get stuck on the king for a bit. And uh, that's going to be the end of the road for her. But a Tessa pops over in the right-hand corner. King trying to get out to it. Does he recognize it? Does he drop a balloon over there? Where's his spotters? Drop a balloon on the Tessa over in the right-hand corner. The king is taking for a big Tessa farm. Popping over in the right-hand corner. Tons of black mines. Take the slammer down in a heartbeat. Hounds crossing over. Word ability is going to protect him through the town hall. He's still fighting the sweeper. He's, he's dealt with. He's got the dragon that is going to take out the sweeper and get these uh, balloons back into action here. But they're still going to have to go over there and get the Tessa farm at the end of the attack. He still has four balloons. So he could, in all reality, drop in there and grab it. He's going to go for the other side instead. Does he even see the Tessa farm yet? Sometimes he gets so focused in on the main part of the attack there that you don't even realize what's happened. Now he realizes it's going on over there. He freezes up the Tessas to try to get through, tosses in a baby dragon, and that hopefully will give him enough punch to get through. He's got 30 seconds. Does he make the baby dragon invisible? He does not. The warden's on his way over. He can outrange all those Tessas and take him down. But it's costing him some time here. Makes the warden invisible. But see that, uh, that collector that the warden's standing on? That's potentially going to add some time problems here, but the warden does get shot down. Oh, it's going to time fail, isn't it? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's all over. 99% here for Diff. So close. But uh, that's the collector there saw that as an issue and it ended up being one. All right. All right. We are live. Here we go. Yuda, 14. The final attack here from the Queen Walkers. If this doesn't disconnect, it's all over for the Vervetang. They're going to be sent packing, and Queen Walkers is going to move on to the grand finals match and get their revenge against alternate attacks. It'll be one hell of a show. All right, so the Queen started off here. Going to do a Queen Charge with... He's got a Log Launcher. And he has three invisibility spells here. Run into a lot of Tessas here. And he's uh, using those sticky goblins to try to get the storages down. But he doesn't have the pathing secured just yet. What's he trying to do with this queen? Is he trying to push her down? Or is he trying to get her to go in? He's going to use the log launcher though. The king out ahead. The king needs to provide some tanking here. Get the cannon off so look at the okay never mind. i thought they i thought something was shooting at the log as the log was passing through by the way he gets a couple walls open here he drops out some ice golems and a balloon the balloon's gonna search the area for black mines ahead of the, the healers and the queen will continue on in so from what he opened up right there he can use the protection that he got from the ice golems and he can try to go all the way forward into two scatter shots here. But his healers are getting targeted and he's in trouble. He makes him invisible and he tries to get away. He's not away yet though. He uses earthquake in the middle trying to soften things up. Scatter down. Going back for the multi. Let's go to the expo first. All healers are down. The queen's dying. Okay. He missed out that on, on that multi in the entry. That's really, really messing him up right now. Losing the queen charge is a big blow right here. But can he still make it through? The Lala's going to have to fight the town hall. But he has a freeze. He can freeze up the sweeper and 
the town hall together. Bring her trap to tie him up for a minute, but he'll work his way through that. Pops that ward ability. He's going to be fine. Got one more freeze. Oh, no. The sweeper. No. Boom. And there goes the raid. Let's bounce over to the side here. Let's see what they are doing on this attack. It is another defense here. And it is going to be enough here. Queen Walkers is going to be taking the win here. Locking it in. They only need to get one star on the stack here to just uh, lock in their win. And it is not going to be enough in this one. He's trying to get fancy. Tried to go in here with this uh, crazy queen charge. And his healers got roasted. All right, guys. Queen Walkers takes the win here in a commanding fashion. They're going to move on to the grand finals. And we're going to see a rematch of the world championship. Queen Walkers versus Altar Attacks. This is going to be a show for the ages. And if you don't want to miss it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You like this video if you found anything useful. And if you want to help support the channel, then don't forget to use code Eric anytime you make any in-app purchase. And I'll see you guys in the next one.